Okay, here's my video on how to make a really, really super easy birdhouse. What we're going to do is recycle a plastic coffee can. These coffee cans are, they're inexpensive, you know, you don't want to throw it in the trash and see it go to waste, and it makes the perfect birdhouse for small birds like chickadees and titmouse birds and small wrens. Uh, anyway, this piece of plastic is five inches by just under four inches. Just under four inches. And so here's what I do. I go to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you want to and you buy fence picket. The fencing picket comes in this honey color stuff right here that I usually pick up. And you get a six inch piece. It's not really six. It's five and a quarter inches wide and it's uh, six and a half feet long. And what I do is I cut these into some seven inch pieces. Now I've got some cut right here that I did just a little while ago. And uh, as you can see, this one's not as dark colored as the other one. And it's got a little bit of a, of a rougher texture on it, but that's okay. It's going to work out just fine. And uh, it gives something for the birds to, uh, to hang on to. So here's the way you do this. You take your six, six and a half foot piece and cut it down into six seven and one quarter inch pieces. These are going to be for the roof. These are seven and one quarter inch. And then on one of the pieces, I take off a side edge right here. And I take off the, whatever the width of the wood is. If it's a half inch wide, take off a half an, of an inch. And if it's five eighths of an inch wide, then take off five eighths of an inch. And then this is the side that you're going to put glue on. And when you put glue onto this edge right here, you're going to put this edge right on top. And we're going to match it just like this. And this becomes our roof. So let's go ahead and do this. And what I'm going to use, uh, instead of screws right now, I'm going to go ahead and use, just to go through this a little quicker, um, some some brad nails. So I've got my, my little uh, nail gun all, all aired up and everything and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm using regular wood glue and for screws I usually will just go and use some really simple little drywall screws that I that I happen to have a whole bunch left over from a project. So that's what we're gonna do and uh, this birdhouse is just so easy to make. So anyway here's the seven and one quarter inch length piece that I was mentioning just a little bit ago. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue on it. There we go. Put just a little bit of glue and this actually is, is a pretty good idea because the wood over time is going to want to swell and shrink. When it gets wet outside the wood swells up and uh, when it gets real hot outside the, the wood contracts and it shrinks down and so it, it tugs and pulls on these pieces. And what I'm going to do is just match that edge just like that. And I forgot to mention something. On the end grain, when you're looking at the end grain, you can see that it makes like a curve. And if you were to lay pieces together like this, you might notice that it makes like a circular shape in the, I'm sorry if that, if that wasn't in the picture. Uh, the end grain has a uh, like curves in it. And you can tell that this was the middle of the tree and that the rings of the tree they go like this and then they cut the boards out. So the rings of the tree you want to have those rings the the middle piece of the circle facing outward. See? See those little rings in there? And you, you put them to the outside so that way the wood won't warp as much I hope that that was uh, clear. There's a lot of videos that I saw of people putting birdhouses together and stuff and they mentioned that you put the, the rings to the outside. So here I've got this lined up and I'm going to put some brad nails. I'm on a flat surface right here and so this flat surface is holding all my pieces square.
and I put that in like that. On the end right there and I'm just going to put in three and like I said later I come back and drill a pilot hole inside and then I make uh, put a couple of screws in just like this and they'll go inside you just want to make a pilot hole so this way the wood doesn't get all split okay now that is a beautiful roof and that's all it has to be now we're going to take Two little pieces. These are cut into four by four, four inches by four inches, and I pre-drilled a little hole in it. This is one quarter of an inch, this little bitty hole. And on this piece, the front piece, I measured down from corner to corner. I measured down two and a quarter inches and put a pencil mark. That's the center of my hole, two and a quarter inches down. The hole is one and one eighth of an inch. This is, like I said, uh, a birdhouse for tiny birds. Some of these little wrens and these little bitty uh, finches or whatever you get inside the house, uh, chickadees or titmouse birds and stuff, they're only little bitty birds. I mean, they're, they're really tiny little things. And so uh, you only need a one and one eighth inch hole. And if it's any larger than that, you might get sparrows that'll come inside there and they'll, they'll kill those little bitty birds. So you don't want that. But anyway, like I was saying, on the back piece, I cut uh, or drill a quarter inch hole, and on the front piece, I make a three eighths inch hole, or at, at minimum a five sixteenths. It should be the next drill bit size up from this one, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. So what we're going to do here is I don't usually use glue on the sides and the back. In fact, I may skip it just to allow it to, to move and shrink a little bit, but here's what we're going to do. We're still on the flat surface. Here's my piece, and I'm going to take this piece that I just, just cut a little bit ago, and I'm going to put it right inside. It's laying on a flat surface, and just slide it in there, make sure it's all nice and snug. And I'm going to turn it this way because I'm right-handed, and I'm going to drive some little brad nails in. And this holds everything nice and flat and square. And I don't want to shoot myself in the finger. And now I'm going to turn it and go down this side. Just like this. There we go. And you'll notice it starts to look like a birdhouse. This is the back of the birdhouse now. And you can see that this is perfectly flush, perfectly smooth, really nice looking. And then, here's the cool part, we take a birdhouse, this is our main compartment, our main living room area, and we just set it on top, just like this, and then we take this hole, this uh, piece right here with the hole in it, and make sure that the hole is facing up, so that way it's up in the, the top right here where these meet. And that's going to be our, our birdhouse. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to rotate it around because I'm right-handed, and I'm going to drive some screw, uh, some, some brad nails into it, just like this. And then I will come back and put, on, put some screws in. I just didn't think that you'd want to sit there and watch something like that. And uh, this way we can get things done a little quicker. Anyway, that was my last nail. I have to reload my gun here. So this is now a birdhouse. And you can take this birdhouse, and it comes out, look. You can take it for emptying, for cleaning. And also, here's another thing I do. I drill little holes in the bottom. I wish I'd have pre-drilled it just so I could show you exactly what that looks like. But you put some holes on the bottom, uh, on these little ridges, and then measure over, you know, uh, or just come over a couple of these little ridges right here and drill a couple of more holes on this side and this side of the, of the center line and put some up here around on the top just so air can get in. And water's not going to get in. It's going to go right inside. You put it right back in. And then I take a, a pencil sharpener and I bought some some pieces of, uh, this is a dowel, uh, one quarter inch dowel, and I cut some pieces in it that are 
just over seven and a quarter. They're, well, they're about the, 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 the height of the roof, just about, see? And then uh, what I do is I put the pencil sharpener to work like this. And I'm not going to make it a sharp point. I'm just going to make a, a kind of a rounded tip right there. And that's all we want to do to it. And you'll see that what it does is it allows the... Uh, if the wood is expanded, like I was saying, if, it's, if it got all... Uh, swollen up due to moisture or humidity, something like that, this will allow that piece to come out. So here's what we're going to do. We take the, the, the front hole, and this should be able to just drop right through, you know, just like that. And we just put it into the bottom hole, and that is what holds your birdhouse. See? This keeps this from falling out. It can't possibly come out and it doesn't have to be any longer than this because the birds probably not going to use it I mean they they come up on the side and they grab a hold of the front like this and uh, their, their claws stick inside all this rough cedar so they go in and out and we've had some houses I can show you one from five years ago this is what it looks like it gets all kind of gray and weathered looking you know and uh, this one is is just it, I didn't use glue, so you can see it kind of split and pulled apart and everything over time. And it also had the little trap door on the side. But it gets this green-gray tint. just looks like an old fence, you know. And that's basically what it's meant to be. It's just old picket fence. So this is your picket fence and coffee can house. And I hope you use it because you can get three of these for the for the... The price of two dollars and fifty cents. This this six and a half foot piece of board is is two dollars and fifty nine cents at uh, at Home Depot. And uh, the coffee cans they're just going to go in the garbage or the recycle. So you can use it for the little critters. And when your birdhouse wears down and it gets too old to keep, go ahead and just and just keep using the same piece if you want to, you know. And uh, Go and cut you three more. It takes you less than an hour if you got a, a, a project that you want to do with your kids or something like that. That'd be a nice little simple uh, assembly for anybody. So I hope that worked for you. I hope it, uh, that you like it. Thanks. Bye.